So next in this tutorial, we want to see what about uh, thumbnails. So uh, what if we wanted to actually have the ability to upload a file and get that saved uh, as a thumbnail into the uh, into the post. So in order to do this, we need to actually add a file field. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually convert this into a grid and I'm going to simply add another field below here, which is going to be the thumbnail. If you're wondering what I, how, how I'm actually editing this form with this UI and you've never seen the smart grid uh, post, um, the smart grid plugin before, um, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video um, to the uh, smart grid um, plugin and uh, there's a whole range of tutorials there which helps you to understand how to actually use the UI for that plugin and design um, uh, column and or grid layout forms uh, for your website so add a file this is going to be the post thumbnail make it a required field and here we are okay so update this now what we got to make sure is we need to actually uh, map this thumbnail to our post so we need to come back to the form to post tab and over here you have a section called featured image and we can now see that we have the post thumbnail file and we can select this now as soon as we actually modify a mapping of a form which is currently in the live uh, status this message will pop up which is basically a warning telling you that uh, if you're changing the mapping of a field whatever um, uh, uh, submissions you may have saved previously would be slightly different obviously because you've you've changed the mapping and this might give you inconsistent data in this case the previous mapping with it was without a thumbnail so therefore we would have a post without a thumbnail and now we're gonna have posts with thumbnail so this is just a small um, warning there and by default the uh, form goes back to draft mode so what we want now to do is we need to go back to live we want to update it at any given time if you want to actually stop the uh, the mapping and the saving of your submissions you can simply come here and just switch back to draft and that will automatically stop the uh, saving process while still allowing your form to be used in the front end so now let's see how the form looks on the front end so you can see now we have a thumbnail and for some reason the alignment is not very good so this is just a, an interesting uh, little hiccup which highlights a, a fact that uh, the contact form 7 uh, smart grid which uh, draws out this layout does not always um, does not actually um, style the form it it only um, sets up the the layouts while the actual uh, styling such as colors and spaces and font size and things like this are determined as much as possible by the theme that you're using so in this case because the theme is not quite um, adapted to these to these forms we need to override some of these uh, settings and so in here uh, the post thumbnail we want to actually set uh, set it to zero so what we're going to do is we're going to use we're gonna uh, utilize the smart grids wrapping container class to actually ensure that the margin is set to, to zero for for any post thumbnails in that sense not that it makes a huge difference as far as uh, 
other forms of concern but and the way to ensure that this is uh, applied to each each time we load this form because it's specific to this form is uh, we have the ability to actually add custom CSS right within the smart grid um, editor and what will happen is that uh, whenever this form is actually being loaded in the front end uh, it now saves a custom uh, CSS um, file within your existing uh, team that you've actually on which we which your, your your site is running and and it'll keep on loading this uh, this file specifically for uh, this form so that's a way to actually customize the uh, a given a given form so we can actually reload our front-end form to make sure that it displays correctly so now you see this this uh, the margin has been has disappeared as such. so uh, what we're going to do now is upload a small uh, picture let's see what we can put here's a nice picture of a cotton box okay so the thumbnail is now being uploaded and we're going to resubmit and now let's see our post in the front end So here we have our, our second hello world which has been now saved and if we open this we should now have a thumb featured image which is over here so that that demonstrates how you can actually um, submit a uh, a form to an existing post uh, as well as upload a featured image for that post